So in case you missed it last week, I gave you one of the fashion faux pas that just really irk me, my style pet peeves. And it got me thinking, there's a whole bunch of them that kind of get under my skin and I might as well share them with you and how to correct them. So that's what we're gonna do today. So stay tuned. So style faux pas, fashion mistakes, whatever you want to call them, they happen to the best of us. You know, you do the best with what you can and sometimes you just don't know any better. It's happened to me plenty. I'm sure it's happened to you. It happens to everyone. So that's part of the, the inspiration for this video is being able to help you guys, you know, identify that these are some mistakes. Um, and it's not to like put anybody down or criticize anybody because like I said, it happens to the best of us. So we're gonna start off with the one I mentioned last week with ties. Now, this first picture that you can see here, um, it kind of is what I was talking about and it kind of isn't. Let me explain. So going back to what I said last week, this first picture kind of shows what I was talking about a little bit by not using your tie loop. The guy on the left uh, is not using a tie loop. I don't know why guys don't do that. That's what the, the label in the back of your tie is for, is to tuck the narrow end of your tie in that tie loop and also use a tie clip. I don't know why it these guys aren't doing that. But in any event, both ties are incorrect. The narrow end on the left should not be near the wider end. It, it should be up much higher, so it's incorrect. And the guy on the right, his narrow end is much lower than the wider end of his tie. Both are incorrect. Both should start over. Again, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes you tie a tie and it just doesn't come out right. In that instance, start over, try again. It's happened to me before, but I don't leave the house like that. And you shouldn't either put this in the number two column even though we kind of covered it in number one but the tie length is just not correct you can see here that there are three pictures the one in the center is correct that's where your tie should be hitting is just like right about your belt buckle just a little bit above it um, the other two guys one is way too long and the other is way too short uh, the only time that you can prop probably get away with it being too short uh, is if you're going to wear a vest, so rocking a three-piece suit, which I highly recommend you guys wear three-piece suits. Um, it's just that much more formal. Uh, a suit is formal in and of itself, but a three-piece suit is a little bit more uh, formal. And as long as you're not gonna take your vest off, which you shouldn't be, you can get away with that. I mean, you'll know yourself, but um, always strive for that center picture is to have your tie that length, but never ever ever have it going below your belt. If you see somebody with a tie that's below their belt, they don't know what they're doing. Again, if you find yourself on either end of the picture, not the center, but either end, you should redo your, your tie. But again, if you're gonna go with the three-piece suit, you can get away with it being a little short. And for number three, we're gonna go with the wrong size tie knot for your shirt. Now, we talked about this a little bit last week. Uh, this guy in particular, in this picture, he's got the wrong size knot for his shirt gap, the, the collar gap. He should be going with a Windsor knot. It would take up more space. You wouldn't see like the underside of his tie or you know the neckband around his tie. Uh, it would just look better. This looks like he's kind of disheveled. That Windsor knot would take up that much more space and it would just be in the center uh, of his shirt and it would just make it look better. He wouldn't look like, uh, you know, he just rolled out of bed and is on his way to work. Now, one more thing on ties before we move on in, in this whole instance. A friend of mine last week mentioned that he uses Windsor knot all the time because of his height, so he uses the Windsor knot to take up a little extra material in that tie. Now, I do recommend, like our friend in this picture, if that is the case, if you find yourself that you're gonna be using uh, Windsor knots, make sure you plan out your, your shirt accordingly. Make sure you always get the wider uh, collar gap shirts. Don't be getting the smaller ones because the Windsor knot will be just a little bit too much. And you can avoid the previous picture with the longer tie, if you're using Windsor knots, just think about it, plan your outfit. Remember, if you plan out your outfit, 
you're gonna have more success in it and that's what we all want, right? This next one is the one of the biggest pet peeves of mine. I see it way too much. I can't believe the guys don't know this, but we all gotta learn somewhere, right? Never button your bottom button. I don't care if it's a three button jacket or a two button jacket. The rule that you can try to remember is sometimes, always, never. It means sometimes the top, always the middle, never the bottom. If it's a two button jacket, always button the top, never button the bottom. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that, honestly. Even a friend of mine that I went to school with on his wedding day, took wedding pictures and I saw them posted on Facebook. And what did he have done? He had both buttons buttoned. Now, he didn't know, but that's gonna live with him forever on, on the happiest day of his life. And it just, it's like, it, it, it just makes me cringe. It's one of those things. I think everybody has those pet peeves that just bother him. That's what this list is for me. It's just like when you see it, you're just like, mm. but at least I can help you guys, right? Now this next one gets me because I don't understand how people can miss it when it's this blatant, but uh, removing the tack stitching off your jacket, uh, your brand new suit jacket. Now you can find it uh, you know, on the back of the vents uh, or you can find it on the shoulders and then the label that's on your sleeve. All that is meant to come off. It comes off very easily. You can, you know, sometimes you can get it with a nail clipper and you can just pull it out. It's not, it's not meant to be difficult at all. They just put that there for shipping purposes so the suit doesn't get uh, wrinkled or damaged or whatever in that process. Now, that being said, I have had it happen to me where I missed it, um, but it was a black coat with black thread and I just missed it. So I can kind of understand, but when it's this blatant, when it's like really light coloring on the stitching, and usually it is, it's usually like a white thread or a gray thread. It, it's very hard to miss, but just remember, both those are supposed to be clipped and taken out. It comes out extremely easy. These really bug me too. Uh, they just, they really get under my skin. A suit that's too big or too tight. Honestly, I I don't know how that happens. Um, I get the too big part. I got, you know, you, you want a little bit more comfort in it. And, you know, cause suits generally, if you're, if you're not familiar with wearing them, they can be a little restrictive. Like you're not gonna have full range of motion and full comfort like you would like a normal t-shirt and jeans, right? So, you're, you know, you're gonna feel it like a little constricted. And I think a lot of people mistake the comfort level that they should have with t-shirts or normal shirts or whatever with suits. You're not gonna have that. Therefore, they go a little big and it's a mistake as you can see here. Um, the one thing I have to recommend, always go to your tailor whenever you're buying a suit, okay? Now, I did a whole video on where you can go get a suit. I prefer uh, Made to Measure. That's what I did with mine. I went to Indochino, me and my buddy Yaya. Uh, we talked about our experiences. You can see that video here. Um, that video will give you the lowdown on going to get a made to measure suit because it costs pretty much the same as going off the rack, but you'll get a better fit. But if you are going to go off the rack, make sure it fits. You have to go to your tailor. I get it. You get this new thing that you're so excited about and then you got to take it to the tailor and the tailor is going to take a few days to, to get to making your adjustments and you're just like, oh, I want my suit. I want my my new toy or whatever it is and now I gotta wait even more. But patience is a virtue because once it's done, you will look flawless. And too tight is just as bad as bad, you guys. As you can see in this picture here, these are tuxes for some wedding, I assume. They're way too tight. Um, you're not supposed to be able to tell if you're circumcised or which way you're hung when you're wearing a suit like this. Uh, it's just, it's bad form all the way around. Again, make friends with your tailor. If you're not sure of like what size you are, 
get help, okay? Ask a knowledgeable friend to go with you to help you pick out something. Because remember, a suit is really like the men's form of lingerie, right? You know, it, it creates a great silhouette. We look dapper, ladies love it. Uh, you know, except we can wear it out in the daytime and, and <laughs> we wear it to weddings and funerals and such and business events and it, it just, it looks great. But you're really going for that silhouette. You know, it's supposed to show off your, your shape and improve upon it with just clothing. So uh, just think about it that way. It's really an important piece. And again, check out the video that me and my boy Yaya did. We'll get you through getting uh, getting the perfect suit for you. Now this next one, this one is a trend that I don't understand, I don't get, and it bugs me to no end, okay? And I'm not just picking on the rock here, but wearing a suit without a shirt has got to be, in my personal opinion, the dumbest trend that is going around now. Why? Why would you not wear a shirt? Like, I, I don't get it. I, it just blows my mind. I mean, we all sweat. I don't care if you've got, you know, an antiperspirant on or whatever deodorant you got on. You're gonna get sweat stains on your jacket. That's expensive clothing, right? You don't want sweat stains on there. And, you know, it, it just blows my mind. All the, you know, the young girls are out there going like, look at my guy, isn't he like stylish and hot? Isn't he, isn't he sexy? It's like, no, he looks broke. Okay, it looks like he can't afford a shirt. Guys, even if you want to dress down your suit, a t-shirt, just go with a t-shirt and you'll still be stylish. Now, I've always recommended and I still recommend going with a higher end t-shirt. You don't want to just wear a Hanes t-shirt with your suit. You want to spend a little bit more, you know, maybe a knit t-shirt. My personal favorite is Essentials, rocking it with a suit, but wear a damn shirt. Those are some of my style pet peeves that I just can't get over. They irk me, they bug me. Uh, those definitely aren't all of them. So if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments and I'll gladly do another video. Again, we're not picking on the people who are wearing the clothes, we're just, picking on the choices that unfortunately happened. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's happened to me before. I think it's happened to everybody where you think you're killing it and you, it's just one mistake that just kind of puts you off. But, you know, hopefully you can learn from your mistakes and move forward. You know, the biggest way to fix the last one is to wear a damn shirt. You know, that it's easy. So <laughs> all of these are pretty easy. So guys, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Ring the bell. Uh, check out the wellrounderdude.com. Dude 15 will save you 15% off your total purchase. And uh, be sure to check out our podcast and we will see you next time. Take care. Wear a damn shirt with your suit. And I will see you later. Peace.